This is the HCC Droid X Take Apart Repair Guide. The first step will be to remove the back battery cover. To do this, use a safe open pry tool. Pry along the bottom edge of the back cover. You can then slide it along the sides, releasing all the clips holding the back cover in place. Once all the clips are released, you can then remove the screen assembly from the back cover. Using a small Phillips screwdriver, remove the seven screws as shown in the video. With the screws released, release the top clip on top of the camera bezel and remove it. Use a safe open pry tool to release the four connections. The first one will be a jaw connector. Simply release the back clip and remove the flex cable located inside. The second connection will be a pop connector. Simply lift this up. And the final two will be the volume and power button flex cables which are adhered to the housing. Connections released, we can now gently lift underneath the battery, releasing all the adhesive holding the battery in place. We can now release the motherboard, being careful as it's still connected by several flex cables. Simply release all the clips and swing it to the right. With the inside of the motherboard exposed, there's going to be two connections that need to be released. One will be a simple pop connector, and the other will be a jaw connector. With these connections released, the motherboard can now be removed. safe open pry tool to lift the vibrate motor from the housing and release the full flex cable which is adhered to the back cover. Now use a heat gun or a hair dryer to begin warming the adhesive holding the front housing to the screen assembly. Use quick movements around the outside edges for about 45 seconds on the front and back. With the adhesive warmed, you can now release the LCD flex cable. You can now use a safe open pry tool to begin releasing the two main strips of adhesive. Simply slide your safe open pry tool in the holes provided and push away the screen assembly. Once the screen assembly has enough separation, come from the front and release as much adhesive as possible. Continue this process until all the adhesive is released. If needed, reheat the adhesive.
Once the upper section of the screen assembly is released, you will need to slide the touchscreen flex cable through the small slot in the housing. With the lower section adhesive released, you can now slide the LCD flex cable through the slot in the housing and remove the LCD touchscreen assembly from the front housing. The screen assembly can now be replaced.